To keep us updated on the West Coast storm, oh, that yeah, is for they, sure for the rest of the week. Yeah. Sue, I think your your job of politics. Here. I think we'll see you Friday, maybe. <laughs> we'll take a breather from what's Crazy. happening there. All right. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. I'm Natalie Lizarraga. I'm Sue. And I'm Matt. Have a great day. <laughs> we'll see ya. So I had to quit college to help my mom, but I never wanted to quit my dream of a career in IT. On Coursera, you can earn Google's IT Support Professional Certificate. No prior experience needed to enroll. My job now is amazing. Join for free at Coursera.org. When we tried other diet plans, honestly, it was a waste of time and a waste of money. Are you throwing away food and not getting results? Lose weight together and save money with Nutrisystem's Partner Plan. We lost 60 pounds on the Nutrisystem Partner Plan. Now sit down to dinner together with new Meals for Two. Double portion meals served up in one package and designed for weight loss. Sheila and I got our lives back. You can get your life back too. Get today's special deal for two. Call or go online right now. Gilt has the designers that get your heart racing. At Insider Prices, new, every day. Hurry and grab them. They'll be gone in a flash. Designer sales at up to 70% off. Shopgilt.com today. Hey everyone, you're watching Alex News. I'm Marcel Clark. Thank you so much for joining us. Let's jump right into our Alex Top 3 leading our show. First, we're going to get an update on Buffalo Bills safety Lamar DeMar Hamlin's current condition. This after he suffered a cardiac arrest on the field. We're also keeping our eyes on the Bay Area, bracing for its strongest storm to hit since 2017. Widespread flooding, outages, and winds are expected. And if you're watching from that area, officials want you to stay inside. And we still do not have a Speaker of the House. On Wednesday night, the House voted to adjourn for the day and resume voting on Thursday. Well, on Wednesday, they had a fourth, fifth, and sixth round of voting each time. Representative Kevin McCarthy came up short of 218 votes. That's the number McCarthy needs. We do know this is the first time in 100 years that the speaker election went to multiple ballots. And a small group of Republican members are holding firm against McCarthy, going against a last-minute appeal from former President Trump to, quote, vote for Kevin, close the deal. Now, there's obviously a lot happening in the background right now with all of this. And I I get it, politics is rough, and while this is kind of entertaining, it's showing some major issues with our current political system. Alex host Nick Z talked to Alex News political editor Noah Pransky about the stories playing out in DC right now. What you're seeing in the House is a fringe faction really paralyzing the entire Congress because they don't believe in compromise. They believe in dragging everyone toward your ideal. 